Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. There's the view for the team as live sky came again. You're going to find some overcast conditions, mid-level clouds, high-level cloud cover. It is not the kind of stuff that brings moisture to the surface. That is why there is a red flag warning. You can see it and it's up through noon tomorrow, although I think moisture will start to increase before then. We're going to see some changes. Also, there is a wind advisory that stretches from Las Vegas down through the Mojave, down to the high desert locations, even into Joshua Tree. Now, underneath that red flag warning out by the coast, there is also a wind advisory that covers uh, the Los Angeles metro area stretching up towards Santa Barbara. Now, the wind speeds not terribly windy. We're looking at winds right now of about 10 to 15 miles per hour here on the valley floor. They're going to be gustier as you head up into the high desert and we are looking at temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Very mild but we're not going to warm up very much. The cloud cover and a cooler air mass that's beginning to build in. So you can expect the temperatures are going to be just a little bit subdued today uh, and even more so tomorrow. Likely not even getting to 70. You can see we're at 66 in Palm Springs and 55 in Palm Desert, 58 in India. The numbers look good. They're very mild because of that cloud cover, which provides insulation, doesn't allow for the radiational cooling. If you look at the dew points, you can see why there's a red flag warning. We've got dew points at zero in Big Bear, negative numbers in Idlewild, teens and 20s elsewhere. Uh, in fact, there's only one 20 degree reading dew point here on the map in Beaumont. So it is extremely dry, critical fire danger, and the winds are kicking up out of the north and east. Although that will begin to change by tomorrow and Christmas Day, you're going to see a little bit of a different wind pattern. Futurecast says the clouds are going to stick around a little bit. Uh, it doesn't look all that cloudy on the future cast, especially as we head into tomorrow, uh, but we are still going to see some of that cloud cover. Our high today, low 70s. We're going to go with partly cloudy skies. The uh, temperatures tomorrow in the upper 60s, so we continue to kind of cool off a little bit. Comfort Air 7-day forecast, 70 for Christmas Day with mostly sunny skies, and then a chance of showers heading into Monday. Uh, particularly Monday afternoon and evening. We're going to keep an eye on that time frame. We'll see some increasing clouds on Sunday, but the weekend looks pretty nice, Jeff. So we've got a great looking holiday forecast despite some cooler numbers. If you get some new toys, a great weekend to go out and play with them. So there you go. Nice holiday forecast. 651 is the time now. An unlikely dancing duo has gone viral.